Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Isaac. And this summer, we're going on a road trip around our community to help you discover God and own your faith. See ya! Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Isaac. And we are on the Basque family farm right now. And we have what behind us, Isaac? We are surrounded by cows and cows and cows and cows. And I'm told one bull. Yes, that is true. That's the one to look out cows for. Cows are fun animals. I love the interesting things about cows. They are pretty unique in the way that they have two stomachs. Yes. And they've got the udders to feed their kids. And they're huge. They weigh exactly a million pounds. <laughs> <laughs> so are you scared of cows? Only the ones that want to hurt me. Oh, that, I would fall <laughs> into the same camp as that. Very good. Well, today we're going to dive in and learn more about God. So let's turn it over to our friends, John and Brandon. Check it out. Hello, I'm John, and welcome back to The Joy of Sculpting, where we take beautiful things and make even more beautiful things out of them. Let's take this sculpture of my co-host, Brandon. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? So lifelike, his eyes, his hair. The detail really is marvelous. But what if we could make something new out of it? Let's see. Let's take a, a little bit of Brandon's hair off, like this. And we can just put that there. Oh, that's nice. Kind of squishy. And what do we have here? Oh, look. Brandon's little brain. Little brain. We'll put that right, right here very carefully. And what if his ears can go here? There you go. Now let's take Brandon's happy eyes. And we can put those eyes, put them right here. Look at those wonderful eyes. <laughs> Looking right back at you. <laughs> What do these eyes seem? I don't know. Just put those mm, right there. Now, what can we make with what's left? I think I have an idea. What if we make an edge right there? Yeah, yeah. And an edge right here. Uh-huh. Well, that's nice. How about here? Oh, that's nice. Or how about here? Hey, I'm starting to see something. <laughs> there we go. Let's, do, let's just use the, the board for extra pressure. Isn't that beautiful? It's a brick. You could build a big, beautiful house out of this brick. That's how strong it is. Hey, John, have you seen my self sculpture? I've been looking. For it. How nice. Hello, everyone. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And welcome to the So and So Show. Well done. High yeah. Five. Oh, that was close. I'll get it. I'll figure it out one day. Sure. So what is all this stuff that you have? Oh, I'm coming up with some uh, new super mutants for a new comic book I'm creating. Oh, well, that sounds fun. What? How do you come up with your new mutants? Well, I have a jar of heads. Okay. A jar of creature bodies. And a jar of superpowers. Oh, and you what? Do you just what? Draw them out? Sure, sure. I'll show you. I'll show you. Watch this. Um, oh, I got a horse head. <laughs> all right. And, I'm just take this one. Uh, oh, T-Rex body! Look at cool, that! Cool, cool. And a superpower is... Static electricity! Oh, static electricity. Huh. Yeah. Not everyone can leap over tall buildings on a single bound, brain. Oh, well, that's true, I guess. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I think we'll call this guy... Sir Neighborly the Spokosaurus Rex. <laughs> 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 I think I can make this more interesting. <gasps> Explain how! All right. Mutant melee. What am I looking at? Hey, that's me! Uh, no, that's your avatar. Oh. Except now you're... Sir Neighborly, the Sparkosaurus Rex. Superpower, static electricity. Versus Panda King, 
superpower, interpretive bamboo. Ready? Melee! <laughs> It's working! Static electricity! No! Ow. Ow! Ow! My turn. What are you doing? Music! Round two. All right, who am I gonna be this time? How about? Captain Fish Breath, superpower, uh, Fish Breath, versus Bat Boy, superpower, can fly. As long as he doesn't realize he's in the air. What does he mean I can only fly unless I realize I'm in the air? Ready, melee. Ah! I'm flying! Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> Ow! This is a video game! I shouldn't be able to smell it! <laughs> oh, that's terrible! Winner! Oh, it still stinks. Uh, get these things off me. Yeah, that does stink. Ah. Great, I'm gonna have to do laundry. Oh, or maybe burn them. Wait, before you do that, it's Bible story time with Kelly. Hey, everybody. What's up, Kellen? Not much. Say, what do you got there? Uh, laundry from our game of Mutant Melee. Cool. Do you mind if I use it for the story? Oh, sure thing. Thanks. Our story starts with the very first verse of the very first chapter of the very first book of the Bible. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth didn't have any shape. There was darkness over the surface of the waves. The Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good. He separated the light from the darkness and called the light day and the darkness night. How's that for a beginning? And that was just day one. On the second day, God made the sky. God said, let there be a huge space between the waters. And that's exactly what happened. And God called the huge space sky. That was day two. But it was the next day when God's creativity really took root. God said, let the water under the sky be gathered into one place. Let the dry ground appear. God called the dry ground land. Then God said, let the land produce plants and trees and plants and flowers sprung out of the ground and God saw that it was good. That closes the book on day three, but God wasn't finished. He had a whole sky to fill. God said, let there be lights in the huge space of the sky. And so the stars were created. And then God made the moon to rule over the night. He made the sun to rule over the day, and God saw that it was good. Day four, boom, sun, moon, and stars. Without them, we wouldn't know what time of day it was. Think about that. Okay, stop thinking. Things are about to get wild. God said, let the seas be filled with living things. So God created every kind of living thing that fills the oceans. And God said, let birds fly above the earth across the huge space of the sky. And then God created every kind of bird that flies. And God saw that it was good. That was the fifth day. But it was the sixth day when God made his masterpiece. And I'm not talking about the platypus. God said, let the land produce every kind of animal, 
cows, horses, chickens, bugs, snakes, mice, rhinoceroses, orangutans, platypi, and it was all good. And then God said, wait for it, let us make human beings. Watch out world, here we come. So God created human beings in his own likeness. He created them as male and female. And God told them to take care of the earth and all that was in it. This was day six. On the seventh day, God rested from all his work. But before he did that, he took a good look at everything he had created and he saw that it was very good. The end. That was incredible. It really is incredible when you think about all the things God created. I mean, whether it's a huge planet in space or a tiny little eyelash, like, oh, Ow. make a wish. No, you are so weird. What? Get that away from me. Yeah, there's really no limit to God's creativity. You can find it anywhere. I found it sitting right next to me. Aw. Thanks for the story, Kellen. You got it. See you guys next time. Later. See ya. What a great story. Yeah, I what? loved how my gym shorts turned into a orangutan. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I took from the story, too. <laughs> yeah. Reveal the question. Awesome. Where do you see God's creativity? Yeah, do you see it in a stream flowing through the woods? Or in a star that's over 100 miles away? Yeah, except stars are like millions of miles away, John. So, over 100, right? Right. Talk about it with each other. Where do you see God's creativity? And we will see you next time on The So-and-So -so Show. Show. It's right there. You can read it. It's in gold. <laughs> and the question has been revealed. Where do you see God's creativity? That is a great question. I have Taylor and Braden with me. Guys, what is your favorite animal that God has created? A cat. A cat. And a pig. A pig. Interesting. Which one do you think is the cleanest animal? A cat. <laughs> Both have different answers. I love it. Pig may not be that clean, but I like pigs. All right, Isaac, what is the challenge for them this week? The challenge this week is just keep an eye out. Where do you see God's creativity? Oh, very good. All right, well, we want to make sure you join us next week as we want to help you discover God, God and, and own your, your faith. faith. Very good. See ya. No! No! No, my squirrel!